Hey everyone, Aaron here at Kite Paddle Surf, and I'm excited you're here to check out this video. Uh, you probably decided that you want to get into uh, winging, wing surfing, wing foiling, or you're interested in the sport and you want to learn more about it, and you want to see all the gear that goes into this sport. So starting off, the most important thing that you're going to need to start off with is a wing. Uh, right behind me, I pumped up uh, an Ocean Rodeo 6 meter. Uh, another great size that people start off with is a five meter. Now, when you're learning to wing, it's great to have a lot of power from the wing. So a uh, five meter is great for that person, maybe around 150 to 170 pounds, could be a little bit less. Uh, and then for the person maybe 175 and up into the 200 pound range, you're gonna want something like this six meter. Because when you're learning, you want a lot of power in the wing and that's gonna help you propel you forward on the board. And it's great to practice with the wing on, the, on land, just to get really comfortable with it, doing the hand position switches, figuring out how the power is, how you manage it and uh, control the wing. Uh, moving on from there, you can, if you already have a paddleboard, most people have access to stand-up paddleboards, you can go out on a stand-up paddleboard with a wing and start to learn how the wing works. Uh, a great addition to that SUP board is adding, uh, it's almost like a keel, it's a by slingshot called a Supwinder, and it comes with a 3M adhesive uh, connection here. So the addition of this subwinder is going to help you when you're on the paddleboard with the wing. It acts like a dagger, kind of like on a sailboat or a windsurf board. Uh, it allows the board to get upwind uh, a lot easier and just gives you more control over the paddleboard instead of just having that rear fin that stand-up paddleboards have. So something that you could add to your SUP if you already have it. So uh, once you have your wing, uh, another great thing I'm going to talk about is some of the accessories for safety and for warmth out on the water. Uh, a lot of people that we are teaching on and learning to uh, foil, or sorry, excuse me, to wing foil wing surf is they're wearing helmets because uh, just for safety of falling over, hitting your head on the board, hitting your head on the foil if you're learning to get on the foil. It's just a great safety feature to have a helmet to protect your head. Uh, another great, another great uh, safety is wearing a PFD or an impact vest. This is a ride engine defender. This is a great uh, impact vest that's gonna also protect you so when you fall on your board or the foil, it's gonna protect you the back area and in the front area and provide a little bit of flotation. So we recommend these to, uh, to people getting out on the water. It also provides just a little bit more warmth and protection with your suit. That's the next thing I want to talk about. Uh, being up here in Bellingham and people that are getting out into any type of water sport, they're going to be wanting to wear a wetsuit. Uh, I just chose this wetsuit because uh, Hyperflex Viral is just a great entry level suit to get into that's going to provide warmth. Uh, available in a, it's a, this one's a 5.4, you can get it in a 4.3. This one's hooded. So it's going to work from that uh, late summer all the way into spring. It's going to work great. Uh, summertime may get warm, you may want to get like a 4.3 three or a three two but you're definitely going to need a suit when you're out in the water in uh, just some colder water um, conditions and then once you've uh, once you got your suit impact vest and a helmet a few more things you're going to need when you have a wing is you're also going to want to have a pump and that's going to allow you to pump your wing up this is a slingshot blow hard pump uh, really nice pump a little bit larger may not be the most compact for getting from your car to the beach, but this is gonna pump your wing up uh, probably the fastest of any hand pump out there. And it comes with different attachments, so you can use that for different wings, whether it's uh, Slingshot, uh, Ozone, Ocean Rodeo, uh, Nash, it's gonna um, work for all those different types of wings. So you're gonna need a pump to pump up that wing. Next up is a leash for your board, uh, if it's your sub, or if it's a foil board, you're gonna need a leash. So a standard surf leash will work. Uh, we really like these uh, recoil leashes by Ride Engine. Just keeps the leash a lot shorter. And then if you fall bail, it can extend out. So the board goes away from you when you fall. Really like this leash, super nice leash. And then right in front of me is a foil board. And this is the Nash Hover Wing Foil. 
Now, uh, a common question we get asked a lot, and a lot of people are always trying to figure out what size board to get because there's so many different sizes. So there's kind of, I'm gonna kind of give you a general rule, and then you kind of have to adjust for skill level and what you think you want to get into. But essentially, you want to get the most amount of volume in a board that you can because that's going to provide stability and it's going to allow you to stand on the water and feel balanced and comfortable while you're holding the wing and trying to get the wing to pull you up onto the foil. So if you're, say, a really light rider, say that 110 to 130 pound person, you can probably get started on, say, 90 liter, maybe 80 liter board. Moving on from there, I'd say uh, getting up to that 150 to 170 uh, five pound range, you're gonna start to look at that 100 to 110 liter range. This one right here is a 110. And then if you're that 170, if you're pushing up towards 200, then maybe looking at the 120 was a great option. A lot of people have learned on that 120 liter. And then of course, just the bigger uh, riders, are gonna to wanna to go over 120, up in that 130, 140 liter range. Your first board is gonna be just larger in general than you may want. You may wanna be on a smaller board. I personally tried to learn on a smaller foil board just so I didn't have to go and downsize, but it probably took me the longest of anyone here at Kite Pal Surf to learn because I had such a small foil board. So you wanna go larger. Uh, if you feel like you're gonna outgrow it too fast, just think that this is a great board to use in lighter winds. So even if you become a pretty accomplished wing foiler, a lot of great riders still have their large board because they work awesome in light winds because they can just um, kind of cruise out to the wind line standing on their board. And then once they're out there, then they can pump the wing, get up on foil. Whereas if you get a board that doesn't have that float, getting out to the wind line is gonna be a struggle because the board doesn't have enough volume to float you. So it's something to think about when choosing a board. Uh, we carry a couple different brands. This one is Nash. We have the Armstrong board, which is a fantastic board. Uh, just recently started carrying the KT Wing Drifter is another one. And then we have the Slingshot Dwarf Craft, which is, which is another great board to learn out as well. So a couple different options. Uh, the shaping is all really similar. They kind of have the chime on the side. They're pretty parallel outline. The noses can be a little bit different. The Nash nose has a little bit more of a pointed kind of surf inspired nose versus the say the, uh, the slingshot and the uh, Armstrong boards have more of that kind of that blunt nose, which works really well too. So some different sizing there. Uh, and then uh, these boards are gonna have a uh, traction that's very comfortable and then they have foot strap options so you can put a foot strap on some people like to have a foot strap to kind of gives them a little bit more control over the board and then uh, you're able to remove that if you just want to have no straps and f have that freedom to move around on the deck so something to think about with those uh, foil boards and the sizing the next uh, important piece is obviously the hydrofoil so I pulled out here a great hydrofoil to learn on. This is the Armstrong setup with a 72 cm mass. This is a great length to work with to learn on. It's gonna allow you to ride in shallow conditions, but it's long enough that it gives you that room for the foil to move up and down without it hitting the surface. And it's just quite, man it's really manageable to have this type of length in your mass. And then eventually you can go to a longer mass if you uh, become more of an intermediate to advanced rider. Uh, this is the CF uh, 1600. To learn on, we tend to recommend people to be in that 16 more to the 2000 CM range. Uh, 2000 has enough square surface area that it's gonna allow the foil to gradually get up onto foil with not a lot of power in the wing. The smaller the foil gets, the more power you need from the wing to get it up on the foil. So 1600 could work for a lighter weight person. Uh, I'm around 150 pounds, so this would work, but uh, getting closer in that 200 pound range, you're gonna be want to be on a 2000. And also think of it this way, don't think you're gonna buy something like the 2000, learn on it, and then have to turn around and sell it and get all new gear in a couple months. That 2000 is great for light wind. You want those larger front wings for riding in lighter wind conditions. Uh, 
We carry not only Armstrong, but we have uh, slingshot foils as well. Those are great foils. Uh, people seem to be really um, pretty hyped on these Armstrongs. They're great. They last a long time. They're lightweight, uh, really reactive, and just are a lot of fun to ride these Armstrong foils. So there's something to look at for you. So uh, those are kind of all the different pieces you're going to need to get out there to go winging. Uh, if you have any questions at all on this gear, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'm going to put links to all of this equipment uh, down below. So if there's something that you like, something that you're interested in, there'll be a link to our webpage that'll take you straight there. And I'll kind of show you the different sizes that we have available and what's in stock. And please feel free to reach out to us if there's any questions you have about gear and getting started in wing foiling. It's a super fun sport. We're really excited about it. It's just allowing a lot more people to get out on the water safely, enjoy this incredible water sport. So thanks for joining in. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to our channel, like the video, and we'll catch, catch you guys on the next video. Thanks again. See you guys.